The YouTuber Smallant made an escape room inside a Pokemon Fire Red and challenged three of your favorite YouTubers to beat it. He published the video, made the map public, and then said, The puzzles are very challenging and require like a degenerate level of Pokemon game knowledge. Like I'm talking degenerate level of Pokemon game knowledge. I saw that as a challenge and set out on a mission to make it four of your favorite YouTubers to beat it. <clears throat> I started off by opening my party and finding a Smeagol and a Togepi. Toge is that Togepi shiny? Immediately, I sprinted towards the double battle to my left so I could get it out of the way. I guess I could take this down. What have you guys got? An Absol and a Mewtwo. Okay, Mewtwo. They're level 100. Okay, so I don't think we're going to win this battle. I'll be honest. Okay, so obviously that wasn't going to work. I needed to find a way around the twins, so I checked my PC. Maybe there were stronger Pokemon in there. Uh, it does not look like it. Yeah, no, I don't think there is. Oh, there's a... There's a Skitty down here. This Skitty was level 19. Still no match for the level 100s I fought earlier. I'll have to figure something out. I also got a smoke ball from the PC and found two NPCs in the Pokemon Center. One gave me a Super Rod, and the other told me they were selling a HM for 100 Poke Dollars. The only problem is, I have no money. Now, I don't see a timeline where I can get past these. So I don't think the plan is to get past those. I want to make sure Skitty is out front so I can payday the uh, the Pokemon in the water. Finally, I had a good idea. If I could farm the Pokemon in the water for money, I could buy the HM and figure everything out from there. All I need to do is kill this lousy Sea King and, and it's level 100. Something's telling me that my level 19 Skitty can't, can't get that. And I die, right? Yeah, okay. I should run. Wait, hang on. If I've got two faint of Pokemon, you need two Pokemon to get through here. Are they going to fight me? They do not fight me. That's good to know. So I'm guessing the HM is Rock Smash, which gets me through here. And what's in this grass? Maybe we could use uh, Payday to get money off this one instead. No, idiot. Sable is a ghost type. Payday can't hit it. Or can it? Through scouting out his moveset, I found it had the move Foresight. What does Foresight do? Good question, me. Foresight basically means normal type moves can hit ghost types. Perfect. With Smiggle's sketch, I taught it Foresight, but now I needed to find a way to use it to my advantage. Could I evolve Togepi, maybe? He says, completely disregarding the huge advantage he's just gained. He just doesn't know it yet. Also, no, I can't evolve Togepi. And then I got it. If I could run past the twins with Skitty alive and a fainted Smiggle from a fight with Seeking in the back, they don't battle me. I could then battle a Sableye, use Assist, get Foresight, and then use Payday to farm money and kill the Sableye, and then get rewarded with a HM for Rock Smash. So using the same Seeking strat as before, I ran past the twins again and smashed the rock in my path. I want to say this is the first leg of the puzzle. We've gotten past it. And there are three trainers and some strength rocks into a house. And that is all we have in this area. What are you saying? I'm looking for the Pokemon Smeagol. Want to trade for my Wobbuffet? I'll say no for the time being. My muck ate a Moonstone and I can't get it out. Can you help me? Sure. And it's a battle. Watch it be level 100, guys. I was kidding. So using the same seeking strat as before, I ran past the twins again and smashed the rock in my path. Again. So he wants Smiggle for Wobbuffet, she wants a battle, and this one wants Togepi for Stantler. What the fuck is Stantler gonna do? I will trade Togepi for Stantler just because I think I need to. I don't think the option would be there if it wasn't necessary. What I later found out is that was a mistake. I found there were various notes dotted around the map, all written in braille. I'm gonna scan the area. Oh, is that- are you fucking kidding me? I don't speak braille. After some decoding, I found one of the notes said not to trade Togepi away until I have the HM for strength. The only problem is, where do I find strength? Heck, what do I even teach strength? Out of all the Pokemon at my disposal, only one of them can learn strength, and that's Skitty's evolution, Delcatty. But I can't even get Delcatty because I need the Moonstone that Muck has. And no, before you comment, killing the Muck with Wobbuffet's Destiny Bond does not work. I tried. I concluded that I needed a Pokemon with the move Thief, so I could steal the Moonstone from Muck and get it that way. The only problem is, I had no way of learning it. From another Braille message, I learned Muck's moveset consisted of only two moves, Dig and Mimic. These were two seemingly random moves, but in reality, they were super important. We'll get to that later. Much, much later. I thought and I thought and I thought about what the solution could be. I don't understand. Even after some encouraging words from the big guy himself, I was still scrambling in a million different directions. Eventually, almost an entire hour had passed of me trying things and inevitably falling short until I made a groundbreaking discovery. Secret to our power, our Pokemon have the strength, strength. Wait, 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 no, no, the twins. I need thief. The twins Pokemon have strength. 
he had hit me with my one weakness, forced reading. And immediately after that, I made an even bigger discovery. Name all the stealing moves. Thief. Covet. Covet. Wait. I found out that the move Covet had the same stealing effect as Thief. And it just so happens, Skitty can learn Covet. I just needed to find out when it learned it. 34. Do I have to, do I have to grind Skitty to 34? No, surely not. Yeah, that's correct. I need to grind to level 31 instead. I think the game plan is I grind levels on Skitty to get Covet, to steal the Moonstone, steal strength, get strength on Delcatty, and then I'm out. Wait, no, that's it. That's it. How would I grind against level nines? Really? If this is the way to do it, Small Ant, you are a jammy little bastard. I'm fine with saying that because it's it's true. If this is the if this is the way to do it, so God help me. Not only do I have to grind, but I have to grind against a level nine Sableye. Is it really 71 battles? You do not need to do 71 battles. Okay. Thank God Small Ant values my time. Watching this back, I'm astounded by my willingness to actually grind against level 9 Sableyes, but it wasn't the way forward. Another 30 minutes passed when I actually started to solve the puzzle. I think Destiny Bond has something to do with it, just killing something straight up to get Covet, to get strength. I was actually figuring things out. I could use the TM for Protect that Wobbuffet was holding on Skitty. If I lead the battle with Skitty and Wobbuffet, use Destiny Bond and immediately swap out to Togepi, Togepi takes the attack in place of Skitty. Skitty then comes back into the battle, uses Protect while Wobbuffet is wiped out by Absol's Razor Wind. And with that, all that sweet XP is left for our dumbass cat. And just like that, I was off to the races. Skitty learned cover in no time. Fingers crossed, right? Ready, ready, ready? We stole HMO4 of you too, bitch. My plan was working flawlessly and I was finally putting all the puzzle pieces together. Since it was then time to trade away Togepi, I did just that and started to think about the fight against Mark. All I needed was to hit it once with Skitty to take its item away. So I found out I could PP stall Dig using Protect every turn that it's underground and eventually use Covet. So I did just that is what I would say if it was that easy. Something I didn't account for earlier came back to bite me. Muck's ability. Muck can have two different abilities, Sticky Hold and Stench. What Stench does is irrelevant, but Sticky Hold doesn't allow you to steal an item from it. And earlier on, I carelessly disregarded that thought. I'm gonna go off the assumption it has Stench. For my, for, for, for peace of mind, right? God damn it. What do I do? How do I negate Sticky Hold? I'll be honest, at this point I was at a loss. So much so that I even asked my Twitch chat what I should do. Chat, have we got any ideas? I'm at a loss. Small Ant has an idea. Thank you, Small Ant. I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, that reminds me. This was all streamed on Twitch, so if you want to watch me live, you know where to go. Anyway, I sat there for seemingly ages, trying to figure out what exactly to do, until I took a look at the one thing that mattered. Santler's Gen 3 Learn Set. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. I've cracked it, I've cracked it, I've cracked it, right? I need to level up Stantler. I needed to get Stantler to learn roleplay and then get Muck to mimic roleplay and use it on Skitty. So I got everything ready, entered the battle and PP stalled the Muck until it had used all 10 of its dicks. Finally, I could get rid of this sticky hold ability and oh, well, that didn't work. But what happened? Since Muck mimics the last move used and outspeeds my Stantler, it ends up copying Endure instead of roleplay and in doing so prevents any progression. I had to tackle this at a different angle and I knew exactly what to do. Again, I stalled out each and every one of Muck's digs and now what he cannot mimic is the action of switching Pokemon. He tries to mimic again, chat. He can't, he can't. Then we use roleplay. Then he mimics, takes roleplay uses roleplay. Now swap into Skitty. Uses roleplay with Skitty. Takes my ability there. Now he has cute charm. Now I can cover it. And I took the fucking moonstone off it, chat. Now I need to uh, die or something, I guess. And just like that, I evolved my Skitty, taught Delcatty strength, and pursued the end of the room. So now, provided all has gone to plan, we break this rock, we push this boulder out the way, and that is it. Oh my god. You, you have to be an insane person to come up with that. No, no sane person would be able to figure that out. 